raise in my income since Proud Mary. And almost had to walk away from Color Purple. Yes, ma'am. Who said what? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Because you know what? If I don't take a stand, how am I making it easy for Fantasia and Danielle and Hallie and, and, and Felicia? Then what, why, why am I doing this? If it's all just for me, what the, why are you here? We are to service each other. God is very clever. He put us on this earth and he made us all look different. He made it complicated. We need to figure it out. And we can, we can, and we are. You have to look at, look at the glass. It's half full. It's always half full. Now Taraji has been talking about the pay disparity in the industry for years, according to her. Despite her numerous colonies, she has to work from the ground up whenever a new project rolls around what's more. She even had to audit in for the role of Sugar Berry in the color purple. Sure, Taraji killed the audition, but the fact that she's still treated as an entry level, actress raises some serious concerns. While speaking about her audition for the movie, Taraji said, I don't even know, because at this point, I'm a Golden Globe winner for Empire and Academy Award nominated for Benjamin Button, I went in there with a chip on my shoulder because I was like, you will never second guess me again, I found a dress that was very shrug, I had did my hair up and put a flower in it, I, I wore a fox for shell, and I went in and literally kicked the door down, he was like, do you need to rehearse? I was like, no, let's go. Blitz tells it, like within 20 minutes, she sealed the deal, but but I'm really getting tired of fighting, I'm tired of proving myself, it seems like every time I break a glass ceiling, when it's time to renegotiate for another job, I'm right back, like I did nothing fo following the interview Taraji found support from her community when Taraji talked about firing her team for not capitalizing on the success of her empire character. 50 Cent jumped on Instagram to let Tajaji know, he was open to working together, he posted the headline of a Deadline News article addressing the issue with the caption, they dropped the ball, screw them Taraji, I'm ready to work, let's get it now, not everyone believed Fifth had good intentions, but the rapper didn't miss a beat to prove himself in another post, he wrote someone called me today, thinking I was joking about working with Taraji till told them what I made, stars pay Mary J. Blige to be on Ghost, I ain't out here messing around Fifth support doesn't come as a surprise to fans. Back when Monique landed in trouble with Oprah and found herself blacklisted from the industry, 50 extended a helping hand to Monique, he posted a picture of Monique on her Instagram with the caption, all in favor of Monique being back on top, say make it happen, stop messing around. He also asked Oprah and Tyler Perry, the people who had wronged Monique to to apologize to the actress, the fact that Fifth was willing to help out Monica when people like Steve Harvey had abandoned her is impressive to say the least. Even Cat Williams addressed the pay controversy during an interview with Shannon, Sharp calling it one of the saddest situations. Because imagine, imagine being in your genre, in your sub-niche, whatever it is, imagine being in your lane, imagine being one of the very top of your lane, that to the point where if they don't take you for the role, there's not three black actresses that they can say are bigger than you that we're going to give this to. Imagine you being at that point and have to humble yourself and say. Like fans, he called for prominent black voices in the industry to uplift their brothers and sisters. He believed the only way for the black community to break these cycles of oppression was to support one another. But put your people on. If you a gay person and you in there, put some other gay people on. Put somebody on. Or don't be wondering why people keep saying gatekeepers. Because clearly, y'all are keeping these gates. Clearly. But it seems like Oprah missed the memo. So far, fans haven't seen her use her platform to help out the black community. Instead, her actions are the exact opposite. It's not just Taraji and Monique. Over the years, several black celebrities have accused Oprah of trying to sabotage their careers. Even 50 Cent had some beef with Oprah. Back in the day, she took shots at Fifth for his music, accusing him of spreading violence through his songs. However, Oprah has never stepped up to offer an apology to the people she wronged to fans. She has always been focused on fame and power, not caring about her brothers and sisters in the business. And even now, the situation is no different. Instead of admitting to her mistakes, Oprah has been bending over backward to save her image following the page controversy. 
Oprah posted a picture of her and Taraji on her Instagram raving about Taraji talents. More recently, Oprah spoke to Entertainment Tonight to clear the air, she shut down rumors about her not supporting Taraji and the rest of the cast calling herself the greatest champion of the film, Oprah said that she did everything in her power to make things right. Behind the scenes production but also everything that everybody needed. So whenever I heard that there was something that people needed, I'm not in charge of the budget because that's Warner Brothers. You know, that's mm -hmm. the way the studio system course, works. And we as producers, everybody gets their salary. That's negotiated. She absolved herself self of any responsibility by saying she was not in charge of the budget, but she showed up to solve any issues that she heard about and claimed that Taraji and the others would vouch for her. However, fans are side-eyeing Oprah, according to them, the fact that Oprah kept talking on and on trying to clear her name was fishy to the say the least. And so, whenever I heard there was an issue or there was a problem, there was a problem with the cars or there was a problem with the food, I would step in and do whatever I could to make it right, and I believe that she would even vouch for that and say- And that's not all. Oprah even addressed the questionable video of her from the top of the Empire State Building that had fans speculating about a possible beef between Taraji and Oprah, according to her. There was nothing to the video, while Oprah provided a long-winded explanation for her actions. Fans just have one question if Oprah is as guilt-free as she claims, why would she go this far to paint herself as innocent in the eyes of the public? Something online about uh, us being separated at the top of the Empire State Building. On that particular day, we were so cold. So I don't know what kind of body language people were talking about. I, I was like just trying. During Act's interview, Oprah laid the entire blame on the head of the WB at the time, Toby Emmerich. According to Winfrey, it was Tom who didn't want to provide the cast with separate trailers or dressing rooms. Meanwhile, Oprah painted herself as the black savory revealing that she offered to pay for everyone's cars out of her own pocket. I personally called Toby Emmerich, who was at the time the head of Warner Brothers, and say, and he said, well, that means we have to do cars for everybody. Then I say, then we do cars for everybody. Yeah. And if it's necessary, I will pay for the cars myself. He goes, well, we don't want you to do Fans aren't buying Oprah as excuses in their ease. Oprah is taking a page out of the How to Avoid Accountability book. She even pulled some strings behind the scenes to force Taraji into making Instagram post, praising Oprah for her efforts on the set. Besides, fans haven't forgotten about what Oprah did to Monica, forcing her into doing an unpaid tour and then blacklisting her from the industry for saying, no, the truth is out there. It's not like Oprah did anything to make things right in that situation. Decades later, Monica continues to ask Oprah for an apology, so a press claims about her being all for her sisters, racing to success and carving out their own path in the industry are being met with backlash. I'm all for everybody being the greatest and rising to the, meet the rising of their own life, and so... What's more word on the street is that Fantasia wants to come forward with her own experience. Says, however, she's reluctant because she doesn't want to be blacklisted from the industry like Monica. The actress doesn't have the same position as Taraji, so she can't take the risk with her career. It makes sense why Fantasia would think twice about speaking up against Oprah, she's a powerful industry leader who can change the course of her career. This might explain why Fantasia was singing, Oprah, praises on the red carpet for the Golden Globe, calling her a mentor, however, fans found her words hard to believe considering all that Oprah had put the cast through on the set of The Color Purple. Oprah to be in the trenches with us? <laughs> we were out where there were bugs, mos like mosquitoes, hot. We would always look over and see her sitting there, and I'm thinking, she could be like eating caviar, drinking champagne, which I would love to be doing right now. But she was there with us. This story means a lot to her. Some fans think that Fantasia is appreciating Oprah's supposed efforts out of fear. However, until she finds the courage, her fellow actors Taraji and Danielle will fight the good fight for her, dragging Oprah and Steven Spielberg into the spotlight. So far fans have been appreciating the cast efforts to shed light on Oprah is true colors. One fan said it's about time someone called Oprah out, knew Oprah was no good, all she cares about is herself, Oprah should be ashamed of herself, thank you, ladies for calling her out. Another said, I'm just gonna say it what makes this situation apprehend. Ensemble is that it was a black woman taking advantage of other black women, not that it would be any better if it was done by someone of a different ethnicity. But it stings a whole lot more when we do this to our own shame on Oprah. But what's your take on the situation?
Is Oprah really the one to be held responsible for what went down on the set of The Color Purple, or did she turn a blind eye to her sisters? Let us know in the comments below.